Greetings and welcome y'all, I'm back. I haven't put up any training videos in so long. I've been training, you know, like I said, you gotta figure out how to keep that in your life no matter what's going on, but you'll be getting some of them coming back and I'll help my man William Powell. I just checked on his update for CrossFit 2015. How's it going? Going real well, you know, injury free, feeling real strong right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How does, how does the CrossFit diet fit with a bodybuilder's diet since you've done both? Well, if you, if you look at if you look at the, uh, the 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 nutrients that's needed for bodybuilding, those same nutrients are needed for CrossFit. Mm -hmm. Basically, you need lots of uh, nutrition um, specifically for rebuilding torn down tissue. Right. Um, with CrossFit, there's a little bit more of a demand for uh, energy, mm -hmm. so um, the carbohydrates are a little bit higher. Yeah. Uh, actually, calories overall are a little bit higher. Um, and the other thing too with bodybuilding you're you're constantly uh concerned with losing fat right right uh, with crossfit you're not so much concerned about that unless you have to be somebody that's overweight but for me uh during times of preparing for major events in crossfit my calories are pretty high because i uh, need to ensure that i don't go into any type of uh, energy deficit or come out of nitrogen balance so that i you know to prevent me from uh, losing muscle cells gotcha so so, so guys, if you're just trying to get, get yourself footed with maybe bodybuilding, maybe some kind of sport that you want to take it to the next level, you might want to look at CrossFit as a way for doing your cardio. Yeah. I mean, it's typically short bursts instead of steady state for an hour. And just based on looking at what I've seen, some of the best physiques are those of people that do uh, Olympic sprinting, not long distance running, and individuals in CrossFit have some of the best physiques you're going to find on the planet. And they just do high intensity for short bursts and train hard. So if you're trying to get yourself in a better position a little quicker, think about throwing some CrossFit into your diet. R Will can help you with that. Yep. It's gotten me where I was at. Yeah. And now I'm back in here training, and getting ready to try to make it to his OCB on whoa, whoa, August 29th. Whoa, I hate to interrupt conversation. Oh, I know you got something going on right there. What'd you say, try? I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm fighting as hard as I can. Right, right now my weight with 12 weeks left, I'm at 197 pounds. Okay. You know, and so, guys, that means I probably need to drop. I need to be about 177 or something like that to actually get up there and compete good enough that I feel like I've done something. So we'll be tracking these videos week to week. We're going to be posting them every time this time, every training session. Today we're going to hit some heavy back and we're going to let you guys know what's going on. When are you going to CrossFit, Will? July 21st is my first event. Okay. Yeah. And how can they catch you on TV with that? Uh, it'll be on ESPN. Well, I'm not sure what the coverage will be this year, but uh, last year was on ESPN3, which is an internet-based uh, uh, television. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So as we get closer to understanding, we'll let you know, guys. Don't forget to like that video, comment, subscribe. Go get yourself a life game and enjoy the training. All right, ladies and gentlemen, getting some wide grip pull down. Hit these for 12 reps, as heavy as you can tolerate them. Try to keep your form nice and wide and make your mind muscle connection with your lats. Next, we're doing low pulley rows. Really want to squeeze your back, get the traps involved a little bit. Pull to your belly button. Hit this as best you can for 12 reps. Keep the weight nice and heavy. Next we go back and right here we're going to hit a superset. I'm doing close grips, wrists in the front, trying to work the upper part of my back, getting that area a little thicker. That always looks good on the beach and when you got your white beat on. And go straight from that for 10 reps, straight over there to a wide grip pull. This is a great superset and a good way to finish off a good back workout. Man, it was hurting my back. Next, I'm putting in a video I did with Will earlier in the week. He calls this the Fred Hatfield workout for a bodybuilder. And what you do is you hit a heavy weight for five reps. So I'm hitting 225 on incline for five reps. This is called a giant set. You're going to do three consecutive exercises. So I hit 225 for five reps and then went over here and did dips. 12 reps now in the first set it don't look bad but believe me by the time you get to this third one in this superset it's, it's rough 
real tough. So finish up those dips, then you go over here and you do some flies. Now here's the catch. You just did five at 225 on incline. Then you did 12 dips. Right here you're going for 40 reps. That's all you gotta do. Get to 40. And after 40, you get to take yourself a minute break and do it all over again. This is gonna put a burn on your chest. It's gonna feel like you are on fire. But it's real, real good for muscle growth and stimulation. And if you guys are really into bodybuilding, y'all have never heard of Fred Hatfield, look him up. He was one of the greats. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, go out there and get yourself a life game, and try this Fred Hatfield exercise. It's going to put a hair on your chest.